Our first guest tonight is the legend who begat the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He directed the original Iron Man and serves as writer, executive producer, sometime director, and biological father of a baby Yoda on The Mandalorian. <laughs> Season three premiered today on Disney+. Plus. Please welcome John Favreau. <laughs> Great. How you doing? I'm doing well. You had your big red carpet premiere of The Mandalorian we last did, night. Right here at the El Capitan. Very nice. We have a lot of memories there. Yeah. All the Marvel stuff, all the Disney stuff. Are you superstitious at all? Is that where you want to do it, or is it just because Disney owns that Disney theater? Disney owns the theater. Yeah, Disney owns the theater. <laughs> I heard the red carpet covered your star, your brand new star on the Hollywood My Walk of Fame. Brand new star, thank you. That's disrespectful. <laughs> well, congratulations. Right near, right near yours, I noticed. That's right. We're right in the we're, same neighborhood yeah, there. That was right out in front of here. And we, they actually cut a little hole in the carpet, which was very nice, very thoughtful. That's good. For the premiere. So there's just was was just that. I like that. A little light on it. That's good thinking. Yeah, yeah. it's you, it's a your star, and then I think Snoop Dogg, and then um, Marla Gibbs, and then me. The four of us are we, together. Snoop Dogg's there with us? Yeah, too? Snoop Dogg is right there. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Snoop Dogg have... star is getting your star high right now. <laughs> <laughs> And, I, and we have Maury Amsterdam right by, who nobody here would know. Maury Amsterdam. Yeah, a few people, yeah. Well, you know what? Yeah, yeah. We can't back. mention Amsterdam, where it's a little bit of a sore oh, point here tonight. <laughs> Got a real wise guy I hear in the, the audience. food's amazing there <laughs> in Amsterdam. Yeah. Well known for its food. He's from Gouda in is the it? Netherlands. Oh. Yeah, Gouda, which is like known the for yeah. the cheese. Yeah, and he says our Gouda is terrible here. Yes, but you can make little sculptures out of the, uh, the red wax wrapping. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> He doesn't know anything. He really no. doesn't. Yeah. Um, you work your way up to Von Bell. You're really like, it's so crazy to me. And when I think back on the first, not the first time you were here, but the first time you were here talking about the Iron Man movie, mm -hmm. which I think was about two years before it came out. Was it? It was. And I was so interested in why, <laughs> of all the characters in the Marvel Universe, uh -huh. now it seems to make perfect sense right. why you'd start with Iron Man. You know, it's again, it's who who was left over. They were making a lot of superhero movies with Spider-Man, and they had Batman, and and Iron Man was, you know, seemed like the next logical choice. But uh, to you, not to me, though, no. it didn't seem that yeah, logical, yeah. and yet it turned out to be very logical. Yeah, because yeah. So did you know that like it would be the like kind of the seed from which this giant tree grew? We we didn't know honestly. I, when we when Robert Downey was cast, that's when I thought, oh, this could be something really cool and really special. And and we attracted because of Robert, I think, a lot of great other actors like Jeff Bridges and Gwyneth and and so it turned into a really uh, ha have a really fun tone and the characters became interesting and the the comedy was kind of offbeat. Uh, but of course the technology and our friends at Industrial Light and Magic could for the first time bring this metal suit to life in a way that you could believe. So I think the technology was ready to present a, a character like Robert that. Downey Jr. spoke at your star ceremony. Yeah. You have to ask one or two people to come speak, somebody yes. who's important to you in your life. And not only did he speak, he, um, and I don't know if you knew this was gonna happen. I think we have a, oh, a photograph. Well, maybe I have the photograph here. Oh yeah, here it is. Here's Robert, um, after he spoke about you, he put a big wad of gum on your star. <laughs> <laughs> He said he wants to be the first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, no, he did not tell me. There's Roy Choi, our mutual That's Roy friend. Roy Choi. Chef Roy, Roy Choi. Choi, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, it was a wonderful day, and I thought it, it, it really broke the tension. But, the, uh, of course, the, uh, the, the, you know, the dignitaries from the uh, Hollywood Chamber of Commerce quickly scooped it up. But I wanted to keep it, and we could have auctioned that thing off, I think. I love the idea of all the things there are to scoop up out on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> That Robert Downey Jr.'s gum was one on the, at right. the top of the list there. Yes, if it was across the street, maybe I could have had the real Iron Man uh, standing on it. Perhaps you could have. If, you yeah. ever, if you're from the Netherlands, you may want to go across the street to have people dress up as superheroes. Yes. Oh, yes, yeah. Uh, and, and, and so that it makes up for our lack of good You can here. see them if you show up early enough. It's a good tip for tourists visiting our area. If you show up early enough in the morning, you can see them with their heads off smoking. Really? Yeah. <laughs> 
What hole does SpongeBob smoke through? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I think all of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, 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 there's one Spider-Man who's got a big white mustache, <laughs> and he'll park like his Accord around the corner from here, and every once in a while, I see him smoking yeah. with my son, and it's upsetting, yeah, so I drive him to school. It's hard work. It's hard work being in that costume all Speaking day. of my son, I do want to mention yes. something, because you, what's the name of your show on Apple TV Plus? Oh, A Prehistoric Planet. It's a Have great show. Have you heard of that show? It's Prehistoric Planet. It's, there's actually a, a, a second season coming up uh, May 22nd on Apple Oh, great. TV, so check it out. Yeah. Okay. Well, second season. I can just, I can tell right now, because I know these people, they're lying. They don't know what the show is. But, but I'm going to tell you. Thank you for show. turning the applause light on. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. The show the is, the you kind of, I, and correct me if I have any of this wrong, you've taken like that technology, you, you did the live action Lion King. That's exactly right. And you applied it to dinosaurs. Right, so we filmed out, like we were doing a nature documentary, David Attenborough is our, uh, our, our, our narrator, and it's done by the BBC and Apple. And we go out into the field and we use the state of the art science and show how dinosaurs really lived based on the latest archaeological evidence. And so it's not just biting and fighting. They're rearing their young. They're, there's a lot of uh, scientific breakthroughs that have been happening in the last few years, and we depict that. We shoot the, uh, the plates in, the, in, in nature, and then we add CG dinosaurs that are as photoreal as, the, as what we developed around, like you said, Lion King. So it plays like a live-action documentary, yeah. except it's set 60 million years it ago. It looks like planet Earth, and then you've got David Attenborough yeah. narrating it, right. and so now I've told my five-year-old that there are no dinosaurs right. and we don't have to worry about a T-Rex <laughs> coming. And, you know, and he believed it for a while until no. now he sees this and he thinks there are it's dinosaurs a, It's the T-Rex walking down Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. Yeah. Think, yeah. You're contributing to the fake news in our society uh, right now. <laughs> but it's fun to watch. And I like the biting and fighting. Don't lay off on the oh, biting. Oh, we have a little of that, too. Some yeah. biting and fighting. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know what we'll do? Let's take a break. We'll bite okay. each other and fight a little bit <laughs> in the commercial. Oh, mix it and up. And then All we right. will come back and uh, we will see a scene from The Mandalorian with John Favreau after this. We'll be right back. I'm confused. I thought you had completed your mission, but you're still running around here with the same little critter. It's complicated. I completed my quest. He returned to me. I removed my helmet, and now I'm an apostate. Which is all the more reason for you to stay here with us. Where you're from, you may be an apostate, but here, you'd be landed gentry. We are back with John Favreau. That's a scene from The Mandalorian, which premiered. It premieres everyone's, but it premiered today on Disney Plus. People were up at midnight waiting for it to come on. That's pretty great, isn't it's, it? It's wonderful, yeah. And, it, and we had the, like you said, we had a premiere right next door, and it was great to see it with a crowd. But it's also great to see the internet react and guess what's going to happen next. And yeah, yeah. It's been, it's been a really fun gig. I was, I watched it at my house last night yeah. before midnight, not far before midnight, but I, and I, my nephew, my brother's son, Wesley, yeah. is in the show. And he played, yeah. he was, he's been on the show for a little while. He was, well, he was, Robert Rodriguez cast him when we were doing Book of Boba Fett. And there was a little kid that was a Tuscan Raider, so covered completely with bandages, no dialogue. And we cast him because Robert wanted somebody who was good physically and would be very professional with a martial arts background. He likes to cast kids with that background because he finds that they're good physically, easy to direct. And then you, call, uh, you called me and you said, I'm, you're working with yeah. my nephew. Yeah. And I didn't know, I didn't know if he was in the crew. I didn't know, I was very embarrassed. I didn't know who it was. And it was like, oh, wait, Wesley Kimmel. That, that's, and that's then we right. connected it. And he did such a great job for us there. We figured we, he should be allowed to show his face this year. We gave him a different role. And, and not he's, only he's did a little give him a role, he's yeah. like the first like seven oh, yeah. minutes of the show. No, he's great. He's, he's all little... focused on him. Yeah, oh, yeah. I have a picture of him. There, there he is. Right there. There. <laughs> what do you want to do? Looks tough. Look at that. Tough did he face. tell you he has a background in the martial arts? Does he not? I don't think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe he went to three karate classes when he was a kid. But well, whatever it Let's takes. just say if there's trouble, don't expect him to help. <laughs> He's not going to do that. <laughs> they made a, uh, this is pretty great. You got your own action figure here. Yes, Sorry, there I, I am. You. There you are. There's your. 
Did you approve it or did they? Um... I don't know whose head that is, but yeah, uh, no, it yeah. doesn't look like you. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't, really but you at know all. what? Our friends at Hasbro, that was that was something I do nice sometimes for people that work on the shows as a collectible Hasbro figure. And I told them I was going to be on this show, and we have the one and only. Would you like to see the Jimmy Kimmel action figure? Oh, oh. oh wow. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, my, I'm in carbonite. Oh, look at that. <laughs> in, your, in your suits. I like how they put you in your same suit I like suit that, that I'm wear. being frozen in carbonite. I'm smiling. Like, oh, this is great. <laughs> What a pro. <laughs> After 20 years, you know what I mean? Wow, that's pretty Nothing exciting. Nothing shakes you. Wow, So Finally. you could play it out. You could have me capturing you and get a bounty. Oh, yeah, yeah we could, could yeah. play together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what it feels like when we make the show. My background in martial arts finally pays <laughs> off. <laughs> so there are a lot of... You, you're kind of in charge of the Star Wars world in some well, ways, Well, one little right? corner of it on Disney+. Plus. Don't you consult and, like, kind of everything kind of goes through you? We, we all talk to each other, but there's all different time periods. There's different filmmakers doing different storylines. But they all have to feel consistently Star Wars. My partner, Dave Filoni, he works at Lucasfilm as well as producing the show. He's very involved with the other shows. But we all make sure that everything fits together. And now we're working on three different shows uh, together. If you, four if you count Book of Boba Fett, Mandalorian, Ahsoka, which is coming out. We're in post-production. And Skeleton Crew that we did with John Watts from Spider-Man. So we have quite a few shows that are happening in the same time period. Is there any chance Spider-Man will ever be in yeah. Star Wars? Because he got Apollo Creed in it. Why not put Spider-Man <laughs> in it? Yeah. No? no I, I work not Tom Holland's a, it's not, you've, I'm sure you've had him on. Yeah, yeah Tom sure. Tom Holland is a yeah. great, great guy. I'd love to yeah. work with him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so well, that's a, that would be, boy. Your, your, your nephew beat him out for, for uh, uh, the role. So. <laughs> 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 it, it would be really awesome to have some crossover between the Marvel Cinematic yes. Universe and the Star Wars Universe. Well, you ever universe. hear Pat Oswalt do his thing on, par it was like outtakes from Parks and Recreation where he does a whole pitch for the, the world with Thanos and, and Star Wars. Oh, no, coming to, oh, yeah, check it on YouTube. It's I'll have to fun. summon Pat and have him share that with me. Yeah. Yes, now that I am in Carbonite, I can do that kind of thing. <laughs> yes, you are. You, you um, he'll, uh, he'll be jealous. One of the things in the first Iron Man movie was the post credit sequence. Yes. That now affects all of us in that, like, you know, you can't go to the bathroom That's right. uh, after the movie. You have to wait. And then on the rare occasion that there's no post credit sequence, you're mad. That's but... right. That's right. Did... We did it right. We had it with Sam Jackson right. as Nick Fury. Right. That was a top secret shoot. We had to do that like on a day off. Sam Jackson came in. And I'm a fan of Sam Jackson's. From, sure. You know, not yeah. just from Star Wars, and this was before Marvel, but from his, you know, Tarantino films, his independent film days, and so it was just a blast to have him there. The eye patch on the, the leather jacket and, and just having him on the set. And he's like a real geek. He loves comic book culture and sci-fi. And, and so he was there and I was directing him. So you shot yeah. two scenes with Sam. Right. So, so, so yeah, the way it works is, is, is Iron Man at the end just walks into his living room after the credits. Mm -hmm. and, Tony Stark's living room. And Tony Stark's living room. And he gets surprised by Nick Fury being there, inviting him to join the Avengers initiative. And that kind of kicks off the whole sequencing that happens. Mm -hmm. And I had him do a take for me. I knew it wasn't going to be in the movie where he, he goes, who are you? Hey, oh, wait, we have that, actually. Oh, you have the, we have where it. did Can you we... find this? This was never, did you, how? I don't know. You've, <laughs> this is, this is real, by the way. This us. isn't a yeah. joke. Like yeah. this, we really filmed this just for fun. Yeah. And well, now you have it. Okay, we have it. Here we go. It I am Iron Man. You think you're the only superhero in the world? Who the hell are you? I'd like to talk to you about a business opportunity. Who the hell are you? Nick Fury, mother New episodes of The Mandalorian Lenses on Disney Plus. We'll be back with the full buyer. <laughs>